Welcome, Welcome to, to the Mother Daughter Ish podcast. podcast. It's your mama's favorite podcast. And the podcast your daughter always wanted. This is Miss Dawn. And Angelique. From, from the, the 713. 713. Houston, y'all. Get connected and stay connected weekly as new shows debut on Sunday, Wednesday, and please check out our Saturday Out and About showcases. Enjoy the show. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell every woman on the planet that you know about our show. Here's our show for for today. today. Hey, mothers and daughters, back again with another great show. I told you for 2024, I'm going to be making sure that I'm here for you, giving you information that you can use, giving you ideas that you can borrow, giving you whatever's going on that I feel like is important. We're coming to the end of the year. So I wanted to talk about some words that just, I wanted to do this show last year because there were just so many words that were floating around that I just wanted to just tell you I'm tired of these words. I hope that they retire in 2024. Well, 2023. But what happened is that for 2023, we got a whole nother group of words. Now, you're probably like, what is she talking about? What I'm talking about is the slang words for 2023 that just, it's all over your social media. It's all in your face. It's everywhere. I was telling y'all the other day when I was talking to you mothers and daughters, I was at my son's house. He had just moved into a new place, and I went to go cook him some dinner, some spaghettis and garlic bread and all that, and I was telling him about um, a movie that I saw, and I was like, well, no, no, actually, we were talking about movies, and we were talking about food. When I said what I said, we were actually talking about some food to a restaurant that he had taken me to, and I had gotten him some food, too. His was more simple than mine. It was just a baked potato I got catfish and green beans and things like cornbread and all that stuff and um I said well you know the food was this and and I said you know it was basically at best it was mid he stopped in his tracks and I'm just study busy cooking and then he said oh and by the way where'd you get that word from (laughs) I really think my son thinks I'm 90 years old because It's like I can't do nothing. It's like I cannot do nothing. You know? Okay. The first word I'm going to go through is one that it caught me. It took me a while to catch on to what the word was. Now, when you're here, you're going to be like, duh. But for me, again, it took me a while. And everything now is an abbreviation. I catch myself doing it. Like, I was sending something to my kids the other day. And when I tell you I abbreviated all of their names, it was crazy. Like my daughter, Angelique, her friends call her Angie. I put A-N-G. My daughter, Peyton, P-A-I-T-O-N, I put P-A-I. My son, Savon, I put S-A-I. My son, Joshua, I just put Josh. I said, by the time I get to my name, I just might as well just put a D. Like, when did I get so lazy that I would literally just half cut everybody's name? I'm not doing that in 2024 for just no reason. You know, that just, it's just so silly. So this one, like I said, on Instagram, more than anything, social media, this one, I kind of had to figure out what it was. And then, you know, let me give you a little tidbit. If you go through the comments on any social media site, most of your questions and things that you'll be wondering will literally be right there. It'll be right there in the comments because I didn't know what this meant and I didn't have to ask. And I just went down the comments and it was literally right there. So the I-Y-K-Y-K. I-Y-K-Y-K. I was like, I don't know what that is. That just stands for if you know, if, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. It's like I would have never, never figured that out. And like they tell you, you got to kind of, already abbreviate some things to be able to know this but like I say it's often used on social media alongside with different obscure shows and different movie references and stuff when I tell you that when they had me in a chokehold almost I was just like because I kept seeing it everywhere and one thing about me is when things show up once they tend to continue to show up and show up which kind of throws me off just a little bit now this word right here I don't like it because well, there's several reasons I don't like it, but I just don't. And I don't want to say why because it's weird. But 
I watch um, TGIF, which with Claudia Jordan and Funky Dineva and Al, and they have a commercial that comes on about a show that comes on after them, a talk show that comes on after them. And I heard one of the, and I think it's called Moro and somebody in Moro. And he was like, I just gave you some riz. And I was like, I don't even know what he's talking about. I don't like the way it sounds. But they say that the word riz, R-I-Z-Z, it was coined in 2021. And especially it's popular in the last few months. It says someone who is riz has great charisma. You can use this for anyone who's super engaging. So what he was just saying is that he just dropped some game, basically. I don't like the word Riz, R-I-Z-Z. -Z. I don't like it. I don't like the word Rizza, which is a rapper. I don't like that name. It's just certain names that I can hear that they just make my flesh crawl. This R-I-Z-Z -Z word literally is one of them. Plus, I think it sounds pretty stupid. Now, again, that's just my opinion. I hope that one disappears for 2024. I saw this in a comment that someone did on a social media site. Again, most of the things that I'm going to see on social media is going to be on Instagram because I have it set up on Instagram that if I post something in my story, it'll also go to Facebook. But I have not literally made a true effort to post on Facebook in probably five years. I just don't hang out over there. The atmosphere is just a little bit different over there, so I don't really hang out over there too much the only reason i actually still have a facebook page set up is because my car club is over there a lot of my podcast groups are over there and just kind of groups that i'm attached to are over there in uh, on our uh, facebook so tomorrow i'm going to be taking some time to actually any groups that i'm not engaging with or any groups that don't allow you to advertise what you do to help other women i'm going to be disconnecting myself from those groups and unjoining them but this next one is private, not secret. Private, not secret. Like, I don't understand how something can be private but not secret at the same time. Again, this is another social media revelation. And it applies to couples' pics where someone is being private but not secret. So, I guess that would be kind of like, okay, let's say you are in... You're on a page that's private on Instagram, but let's say you post half nude, okay? So you post you posting that, that would be private, but obviously it's not a secret because the people that you allow to be on your page can actually see you. Why this had to even become a word, I cannot tell you, but it didn't make sense to me, but it's like... I like it when people do make up their own slang, though. It does make you unique, you know. The next one, I never really heard of it, but maybe a couple times. But it's not, not something that, you know, uh, strikes me as, like, really interesting or anything. But the word touch grass, it just means to go outside. Like, look, that one is so simple. Why it would become popular in 2023 I don't get it, but it could be because of the rise in all of these gurus and all of these, um, you know, natural holistic people. And they're talking a lot more about, you know, going outside and touching grass and, and being one with nature and all of that stuff. But why that had to be like a popular word for 2023, I don't know. Maybe it's because we just came out of a, a very interesting era in um, the United States and all over the globe. That maybe it's like getting back, it's almost like getting back to basics. So I guess that's kind of what that could be attributed to. Bad take. Bad take. <laughs> okay, so a bad take, they said, is to be shy or slow. Some Somebody who looks foolish. Now, I've heard people say, I took a bad picture or whatever, but I've never heard somebody just say, ooh, that's a bad take. Like, I haven't heard that, but this was a popular thing on, you know, people's lips as well. So, now, you know, you've heard of my bad, but I never heard somebody say, oh, that's a bad take. But that was a popular word for 2023. This next, <laughs> this next one, I blame Jada. I, I blame Jada 
Pinkett Smith for this because she came up with that entanglement stuff. And right out of entanglement was born this little baby brother situationship. <laughs> now, listen, a situationship is basically like saying we have a relationship, but there's a situation attached to it that makes us not as connected as maybe we should be. So it's really a situationship. You know, it's a, it's a, it's like I say, I feel like it was born and spawned. Uh, so I'm going to blame Jada Pinkett Smith for this uh, confusion. Okay, because that's all it is. It's confusion because I've never heard anybody say situationship until the last maybe year or so that people have been saying these type of words. And, 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 and again, it, I think it's, it, it's baby I mean it's it's mother or father is absolutely entanglement I, I'm not even trying to be funny I'm just saying it has to be because I mean you know we know because you know this this word just um I think it's cute though I do like situationship I I have to be honest I do like it I didn't like entanglement but I did like entanglement you know what I'm saying because when I looked up quantum entanglement Oh my gosh, the entanglement statement actually made sense. Now, this one I knew was popular. This one I know of. This one I agree with its vernacular of the way it means and fell off. So fell off just means like you kind of lost your touch. You know, you kind of uh, are not as all of that as what you were. So I've heard people say, well, yes, you know, that person kind of fell off. Gatekeeper. We all know this word was very, very popular. It's actually been popular for the last few years that I've been seeing it on social media. And basically, a gatekeeper is a person that can either keep you in or out of knowing what's really, really going on. So right now, as you know, and I'll be talking about that on our 2023 wrap-up show tonight at 11 o'clock but um, to go into the new year. But this gatekeeper thing, we've been seeing that in the celebrity world where there are people who gatekeep everything, meaning they get to say who comes in who comes out, who can be a part of the party. Remember on Mean Girl, she said, you can't sit with us. And she meant you cannot sit with them because they're going to gatekeep you from being friends with all of the popular, you know, very cool kids, basically the cool kids. I'm so glad when I was in school, I never wanted to be friends with the cool kids. It didn't, you know, make any sense to me to be with those people. So, you know. More popular words that I wanted to talk to you about are some of the slang words for 2023. So we know after the Migos did Bougie, a lot of people kind of got into the Bougie type thing. You know, they had that song Bad and Bougie, but Bougie kind of went, you know, with that. And that just basically means to be rich, luxurious, special, and fancy. So we know that. And then the word bussin. Bussin, <laughs> it just means that it's amazing and it's really good. You know, that, that you, you bussing. So that's a, and then this other word, I kind of like it because the way Plies talks about drip is just the funniest thing. And I think he's funny anyway. I think Plies is so hilarious. He's a rapper in case you don't know. But he is so funny and I just think he has so much, you know, charisma. And I love hearing him talk, especially when he's doing his motivational thing. It's really awesome. My daughter tells me this all the time. My daughter Peyton, she always says, oh, mama, you are just so extra. And I'm like, well, should I be lackluster? Because, of course, I'm going to be extra. So extra just means that you you, you are just, you you doing too much. That was another one, doing too much. You're just doing, you doing too much. That means that you're so extra. You're just going above and beyond. That's how I've been taught is to go above and beyond. I use the Napoleon Hill 17 success principles. And, yes, I go the extra mile. That's the way I've been wired to do. Rent free was another one that was, you know, like uh, that song has been living in my head, rent free. That just means that you ain't making no money off of it, but you repeat and repeat and repeat and over and over. The next one is salty. Like, you know what? You know, back in the day we used to say you put, put a little salt in the game. But now when they say salty, it also reminds me of this gentleman, Mr. Johnny. He used to always say, you know, you got to be worth your salt. But to be salty is kind of like you got your nose turned up or, you know, you're a little upset. I just posted something the other day and I said, well, I hate that Libras were not listed on this particular chart, but here I am over here salty. And I said, signed salty in Houston. And then I put, but never mind, because Libras are always up anyway. So that was kind of uh, funny to be able to, 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 I just used that word, not even 72 
hours ago the word salty so some of these words have gotten a hold to me because you know um okay so the next one is going to be shook so that means like you're stunned and you're shocked like i'm just shook like today i made a joke no no yesterday i made a joke with a friend of mine i was talking to on the phone and we were talking about some stuff we had no business talking about and i said that i'm just shooken i say not shook but shooken because you know we were just joking and playing with each other this next one i like because i've been seeing people say like yeah she passed the vibe check that means that hey your energy and your vibe that you're putting out, I'm picking it up. I like you. We could be around each other. So I like that, you know, you passed the vibe check. Uh, woke. We already know woke has been around. That means that, you know, you're spitting some knowledge that needs to be heard. But probably until people get more knowledge and read about it, you know, they're not really going to, you know, know what it is. But it's a socially conscious cultural awareness. And those are our sling words. Slang. I said sling because I want them to sling and get on out of here. Some of them. But those are our slang words for 2023. And if you have not heard those words, you will be shortly hearing them or you just maybe don't hang out over in the social media spaces. But I think, you know, if we're going to take any of them into 2024, you know, I definitely like, you know, the vibe check one. Um, I like it being extra, so I'll stick with the extra one. Those are the ones that I like, and a lot of those that I just listed, I don't like them. But you know what I'm looking forward to, and I'm going to do something different in 2024? I'm going to start writing down all of those slang words so that when we get to this time next year, I can have an even more extensive list. These are just the ones that I kind of wrote down, and you know, I write down all kind of stuff like, okay, here's what's something that was life-changing and earth-shattering in the year of or whatever, and I just kind of make notes of Things like that so that in case, you know, I'm having a conversation with someone and it pops up, I can come back with it. But tell me down in the comments what words you want to take with you in 2023 and which ones you want to see axed out. Because there are a lot of things that I'd like to see axed out from 2023. But those are our popular words for 2023. Some of them were slang words, so you may not, you know, know of them. But let me know what words you liked for 2023. Let me know even if you made up your own type of word that only you and your crew know about. All right, mothers and daughters, bye.